Hi, welcome to this lesson. Hope you're okay and I hope that your plane is coming along great and you're enjoying it. What we're going to do in the next, I've done a series of three videos that are going to actually look at helping you improve your technique by isolating um, elements of your playing um, and focusing on those, those specific things. So we're going to look at pick hand and developing strength and accuracy in your pick hand. Then I'm going to do another um, lesson which is going to look at your um, fretting hand and improving the accuracy and the speed in your fretting hand. Then I'm going to do another one which is going to look at strumming. Uh, it's going to look at how you develop strumming patterns, how you um, develop accuracy in your strumming and, and consistency, strumming to a metronome. So this first lesson is all about the pick hand. Um, and it's for, as I say, developing the strength in your pick hand. It's for developing accuracy in your pick hand. And it's really here to, to get you the, the stamina to be able to play and the accuracy to play the, the stuff you want to play. Um, I recommend doing this every day um, as a warm up before you start playing to get that pick hand going. Um, I also would suggest that once a week you just sit down and you spend a good amount of time doing this exercise. We're going to go through it. Um, I'll talk you through everything we're doing. It's a very simple exercise, but it actually requires quite an amount of dexterity. And it's really simple that all we're going to do is we're going to take our pick hand. We're not going to fret any strings. It's all about the right hand or left hand if you're left handed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to alternate pick each string in turn. But we're not going to do it quickly. We're going to do it consistently and slowly and we're going to maintain it for an amount of time. So very simply, what we're looking to do is take the pick hand and the way to um, get some accuracy in your pick hand is to give yourself some kind of anchor. Now that will either be that you rest the hand on the bridge of your guitar so that the, this bit of your hand is gonna sit on your bridge behind the strings so you're not muting it, so we're sitting there, okay? Um, or you can use anchor the fingers around the pick uh, around the pickup ring or on your scratch plate or on the guitar body but what you're doing is you're looking to anchor the fingers so they can move around and instead of floating around and not knowing where they are you're actually anchoring and giving yourself a chance of doing this exercise and the exercise is quite simply you're going to do a string at a time you are going to pick down up down up Simple as that. Okay, but we're going to do it to a metronome and we're going to spend a minute on each string. Okay, a minute on each string going from the high E to the low E and a minute on each string going from the low E back to the high E. And we're going to do this together and we're going to do it nice and slow. I'm going to set a metronome and I suggest you use a metronome as well. Um, if you're not doing this with me, I'm going to set a metronome at around about 90 beats a minute. So that gives us that sort of speed. So it's not about fast, it's about hitting that beat every time. Now once you can do it consistently for a minute, then you can up the speed. Or you can do two picks per beat. But for now we're just going to pick one beat, one pick stroke, every time. Now we're going for this down up action. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to set a stopwatch. So as I know when we've done a minute and then we can do this together. So get yourself ready, get yourself comfortable. Now if you think we've got six strings and we're going down and up and this is a 12 minute exercise and that's not long. You could do this for an hour um, and it would really help you and strengthen the hand. Okay, so sit yourself down, get yourself comfortable, get yourself a coffee or a, um, some squash or a drink, but let's focus on this. So, I'm going to set the timer off and I am now going to set off the metronome. And when you're ready, we're going to start. So, get your hand nice and comfortable and let's start by picking the high E string. Lock into that metronome. And just keep it nice and consistent. Every note. 
sounding the same. As I say, try and lock in to your metronome. This is going to develop strength in your kick hands and stamina, so you'll be able to play for a long time. Focus on the metronome. Okay, we're nearly coming up. We're going to change strings in a minute. And move to the B string, starting with the down stroke. Off we go. Keep it consistent. Focus on that metronome. You might be feeling tired in the hands. Just keep going. 10 seconds. And we'll move on to that G string, starting with an upstroke. Three, two, one, G. Okay. Meditation. Make sure the hands relax. Don't tense it up. If you tense up, it's going to ache. You want to be nice and relaxed. Remember, this is building stamina. Focus on the metronome. Lock into it. Ten seconds. Five, two, one. D string. Okay. And might start to feel cramped. Try and keep going and relax. Relax the hands. Don't squeeze that pick too hard. Just hard enough that you're holding it. Don't want to drop it. Focusing on the metronome. Try and get it so as it's second nature, so you're completely locked into the metronome. Nine seconds. Three, two, one, A. Now we've got on the A string now. You'll find some of these strings easier than others. Adjust the hands, make it comfortable. Okay. The muscles might be aching. Relax the hands. Consistent and slow. We'll go for consistent and fast eventually. Make every note sound the same. Every pitch stroke sounds the same. Okay, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, change. E. Okay, doing well. Can't see my stopwatch anymore. I 
can now. Get that consistency going. That's good. If you feel you need to take a break, take a break. If you want to build this stamina up. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, eight. So you're learning to cross strings, learning to change, keeping consistent. Building up that stamina. So just focus on the metronome. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, D. Okay, we're halfway there. How's those muscles feeling in the hands? Tightening up, just relax. Small movements, small as you can. The smaller the movements you can do, Faster you'll eventually be able to do this. Okay. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, G string. Feel as if your hand's totally locked into that metronome now. And it should start to become easier. Because you're really, really warming this hand up. Stopwatch keeps going off. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one to the G string. There we go. Keep going. And the home straight now. Probably starting to feel it in the forearm. Focus on the metronome. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, E string. Okay, this is the last one. It's all about picking in time, picking consistently. 
Small movements, small as possible. Okay, we're coming to the end of this. Okay, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's stop this metronome. So, you're probably feeling aching forearm. You're probably feeling your thumb aches. You might not have been able to do it consistently. Carry on doing it, develop it, because it will improve you as a player. If, if you've got stamina in this uh, right hand, in your picking hand, then it will improve the way that you can play your lead lines, it'll improve your chords, it'll improve your strumming, it, it will improve your accuracy when you're trying to play solos and lead breaks, it will play, improve your accuracy in your, um, if, in your arpeggiations when you're arpeggiating chords, it will just develop the strength in this hand and that's what it's all about, developing strength and accuracy in your picking hand. So we've done that at around about 90 beats a minute. Okay, now once you're comfortable with that and you can do that for a minute on each string, in, increase the amount of time you do it for. Do it for two minutes in each, on each string. Do it for three minutes, okay? If you haven't got the time to do that, which I'm sure there are lots of you out there that don't have the time to sit down, make sure you do it every time that you pick up the guitar to play. Warm that hand up before you get going because it'll just get the blood flow and it'll make it easier. So just go up and down those strings a few times, alternate picking. Once you're getting really com comfortable at it, you can increase the speed, so to not take it up a notch. You wanna be on the verge of it being uncomfortable. So it, it, you, you, you can do it, but you're having to concentrate on doing it. There's no point doing it where it's easy. If you're doing it where it's easy, then you're not actually developing any further than you have already achieved. So constantly push yourself. So it's a straightforward, simple exercise, but it really, really will, you'll feel it. You'll feel the burn and that's what you want. You, you wanna feel the burn and go through the burn. We're developing muscles. We're taking this picking hand down the gym and we're giving it some exercise, okay? And you'll feel better for it afterwards, okay? So once you, you you've kind of can do this, then, then basically what you're gonna do is you're going to start playing um, quarter notes, eight notes, sixteenth. So quarter, you're gonna, you're gonna basically, at the minute we're playing quarter notes, we're playing one note per beat of the metronome. Eighth notes, you're gonna play two notes per metronome beat. Sixteenth notes, you're gonna play four. Okay, so it's gonna get harder and harder. But for now, just keep going through this exercise, around about 90 beats a minute. Consistency is what you're after. You're looking to develop this right hand. Okay, so there's that exercise. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope it's of use. Revisit it, come back to it, have a look at it again and again, Just do it on your own, get your metronome on, build up that stamina in your um, picking hand. I'll see you on the next lesson. Cheers.